welcome back to my channel um, and this is uh, my Scania 770S 8x4 so this is my pride and joy uh, when I initially built this truck I built it standard um, as per uh, the instructions and what I found was the steering lock was very very small so to get it around corners on uh, the truck meets it was really really difficult um, and also it had the free speed gearbox the Tamiya free speed gearbox as this is very heavy uh, compared to all the other trucks that I've had it was very clanky um, even though I stripped the gearbox had a look all the setting was there and I thought right I need to change that so with all my trucks um, always remove the free speed gearbox and I then fit the Lesu uh, single planetary gearbox. That gives it a scale speed. Also the drivability improves. And the last thing I did was the steering modification. So again, with all the other trucks I've got, steering modification done as standard. So I do it now as I'm building the trucks rather than doing it after. But by that time I've already built this truck and then I had to just start stripping it and it was a bit of a pain because the back unit has to come off, the front cab then has to come off and there's quite a lot of parts that you've got to take off just to get to um, the actual gearbox and the screws for the gearbox. So I've eventually done it so let me just quickly talk you through it. So um, the steering modification I've done uh, is this one here. So it's from KK Stores um, and it's a two axle linkage. Um, it doesn't require any drilling. So when you order it, what you need to do is to take a measurement from the front nut to the steering nut. Now this conversion could be done on uh, the Tamiya Tipper and also it could be done on the tow truck as well. So if you've got one of those, you probably notice that the steering isn't that great. So very very easy to fit uh, but the setup was a little bit tricky um, and again it, it just takes a little bit of playing around with the linkages the other thing i had to do was when i fitted the linkage this uh, mud guard had to be cut so if i quickly just show you that so if i just take it off take it off the clip here we go so as per normal this on most Tamiya trucks, the servo for the steering goes here. You've got an arm that goes across there um, and it does the linkage. With the trucks with the two steering, you've got two of these linkages. So you've got one here and you've got one there. So the actual play is sort of doubled um, and it's not that great. So what I've done is with this linkage, if I zoom in, you can just about see the linkage here so what I've done is it comes in silver but I sprayed it sprayed it black so it matches in with the chassis so it goes up there then you've got one arm that goes all the way again you can see it there that goes to the front linkage and then it connects to the the steering modification which I'll show you underneath so what that does it gives you a lot more articulation so if I just show you let me just turn it on first of all. So again, as I said, I've got the multifunctional steering wheel on this one as well. So if I turn it on. So I've got all the bits on here. So if I just quickly show you now the steering and see how much steering we've actually got. So it gives you a lot more steering on both the front and the back. So when we had the Tamiya one, the back wouldn't steer as much. But now as it steers to the side, it gives you a lot more tighter steering angle as we go through. Like that. There you go. So it is well worth doing uh, because the drivability makes it a oh, hundredfold 
on there. And again, I'm not sure if I've shown you this truck before. So I said, it's got a full light kit. It's got the multifunctional. I've got the vibration unit on there. Uh, what I did, I replaced the Tamiya standard bar with the Lesu one. And again, if I turn it on, the flashing unit on the top. And again, you can control how it flashes, whether it's fully on, flashes that way. So it's quite cool. If I just turn it around, got all the lights on the back. And if I just show you the steering conversion at the bottom, so it's gonna be a little bit tricky, so you gotta bear with me. Put this back on the stand. steering conversion again is exactly the same as all the other trucks that I've got so you've got a 3d printed steering holder and then again I've got a single speed gearbox which is fitted and I've removed as I said uh, the tire free speed so now the actual drivability when I take this sort of truck meets uh, is a lot more so uh, thanks for watching uh, Again, if you've got any comments, uh, please uh, leave them up there. If you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Um, and if you don't mind subscribing, that will help me out loads. Uh, thanks very much. Uh, till next time for my new build, which is coming shortly. Thanks.